everyone, it's Goddess Lily and welcome back to my channel. But I have a few of my favorite fall palettes to swatch for you today. All these palettes have one thing in common. They have a very beautiful deep burgundy or maroon or magenta, whatever color, that deep red burgundy color that is just so prevalent we all love for fall. All these palettes have that one unique color in common. So I have palettes from YSL, Gucci, Charlotte Tillsbury, and of course my favorite, Tom Ford. So let's take a look at these swatches. Okay, so the first palette I have to show to you today is by Charlotte Tillsbury, and this is the Vintage Vamp Palette. So these are the colors, and of course this color right here is that beautiful fall burgundy color that I am so in love with. And here are the swatches. Gorgeous, right? But I want to show you another palette by CT, and this one is called the Dolce Vita palette. So I'm not going to swatch this for you, but I want to show you how similar these two palettes are. This is Dolce Vita, and this is Vintage Vamp. So while this could be a great fall palette, I have two or three palettes that have this pretty rust color in it. And I decided, well, I'm not gonna pull those palettes out because this video would be way too long. Okay, the second palette I have for you today is by Gucci. And this palette is called Autumn Fire. Here are the gorgeous fall colors, and of course you can spot that pretty color that I like for the fall. And here are the swatches. Ooh. Very pretty, right? Yeah. Very pretty, very soft. And of course I have to show you a comparison. This is another palette by Gucci, and this one is called Pink Flamingo. So I didn't want to swatch it because of course this video would be too long. So this is Pink, Flaming Pink Flamingo and this is Autumn Fire. But these two burgundy colors are different. Now it kind of looks like there are a lot of similarities in these two palettes. The formula is a satin but the colors are just slightly different in each palette. Okay moving along. The third palette I have for you today is by YSL and it is one of their limited edition palettes and the name of this palette is Metal Clash. don't know if you can see that because it's a mirror. And this is what it looks like. They have two vampy colors in this palette that I love and these are the swatches. So to, to give you a comparison of another YSL palette, I thought I would pull out this limited edition palette and this is from the Scandal Collection. And not that it has a lot of fall colors, but just YSL makes some gorgeous palettes overall. And the colors are so soft and creamy. This is Scandal and this is Metal Clash. I mean, they're just colors that just are blendable and anyone can wear them. They just complement any skin tone. Okay, for the fourth palette I have to show you for you today is by Tom Ford. And this palette is the Burnished Amber Quad. Yes, look at those colors. Ooh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And here are the swatches. Yes, we love us some Tom Ford. At least I love Tom Ford. So a comparison palette that I have for you by Tom Ford is their newest palette and this is called Honeymoon. Now, just to tell you something about Tom Ford, he never duplicates his colors. They may be almost similar, but they are never duplicated. Aha! Uh -huh. This is the Honeymoon palette. 
And this is the burnished amber quad. Gorgeous, right? Simply a gorgeous, beautiful. Ah, love me some time for it. Okay, so the next palette that I have to show for you for fall is by none other than a Chanel. And the name of this palette is called, oof, I'll let you pronounce that name. What is it? L and Temporal D Chanel. Yeah. Want to see what's inside this palette? Of course you do. Bam. These are the colors. This palette is about two years old. It's just simply beautiful. It was came out for Christmas. And here are the swatches. Gorgeous. Oh, lovely, lovely. I don't want the brushes to fall out, but they might. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So I have one bonus palette. I only wanted to show you five palettes. I don't have a comparison palette for Chanel to show you because, of course, Chanel is like you can't compare it with another uh, Chanel palette. But I do have one bonus to show you, and this palette is from NARS. Okay. For NARS, this is an eye and cheek palette and it's called Only You. I've probably had this palette for about five years. And this is what it looks like. These are four eye colors, really vampy looking. And these two colors at the bottom are cheek. This is Orgasm and this one I believe is called, well I, I don't believe, let me just tell you what it's called. It's called Hungry Heart. So orgasm and hungry heart. I could never wear orgasm. It just never looked right on me. So here are the swatches. At the top are the four eyeshadows. I guess I'll just hold it like that. And these two colors at the bottom are the blushes. Orgasm and hungry heart. Oh, that's better, huh? So these are the swatches. Isn't that purple pretty? That's such a pretty color pretty uh, iridescent purple color. Okay dolls and gents, that's the end of this tutorial. All the palettes that I mentioned in this tutorial will be listed down in the description bar. If you're interested in making this a continued series, just comment below. I have so much makeup that I would love to show you. I love high-end makeup. I can't help it. I'm I just love high-end makeup. So I have like, I would love to bring to you my favorite lipsticks for fall, my favorite highlighters, my favorite blushes for fall, and just continue with the series and go on to winter and to spring and to summer. If you're interested in seeing that, comment below. I hate to do all that work and not have you watch it. Okay, so that's it for this um, Swatch Fest. And uh, thank you for watching.